The government has unveiled plans to build two new ships and a major boost to the role of Plymouth's Roy Defense Secretary Gavin Williamson mapped out intentions to create the literal strike group vessels, which would be able to assist troops on amphibious missions. In a speech about the future of the armed forces in London today, it's proposed the vessels will be based east of Suez in the Indo-Pacific, and west in the Mediterranean Atlantic and Baltic. But they could also form a powerhouse amphibious force alongside Devonport's HMS Albion, and Bulwark and the Royal Navy's two new mega-aircraft carriers, HMS Queen Elizabeth and HMS Prince Wales which could become one of the best such forces anywhere in the world. Mr. Williamson revealed Whitehall would dip into a multi-million pound defense bolstering transformation fund to build the war fighting machines. Today I can announce some of the first investments from that fund he said. Take the Royal Navy they are exerting British influence through a greater forward presence. I want to capitalize on that investing now to develop a new literal strike ship concept. And if successful we will look to dramatically accelerate their delivery. These globally deployable multi-role vessels would be able to conduct a wide range of operations, from crisis support to war fighting. They would support our future commando force or world-renowned Royal Marines. They'll be forward deployed at exceptionally high readiness, and able to respond at a moment's notice bringing the fight from sea to land. Pressure is being piled hard on Whitehall Defense Supremo Williamson to confirm that the new ships will be base ported in Plymouth. Campaigners say it makes absolute sense given Plymouth is the home of the Marines. The government has already secured the futures of Albion and Bulwark after a hard-fought campaign locally, and revealed that the future generation of the Type 26 frigates would also fly the Southwest flag. Plymouth Review MP Johnny Mercer and Tory Plymouth Sutton, and Devonport parliamentary candidate. Rebecca Smith are now making the case to ensure the region doesn't miss out on another huge opportunity. In a statement following the announcement, Mr. Mercer said I am delighted that the Defense Secretary is talking about literal strike ships. A concept many of us for some time have seen the Royal Marines fulfilling. The Royal Marines must be given the opportunities to evolve and modernize. And Gavin Williamson comments today could herald the start of a very exciting new chapter in the history of our elite amphibious forces.